Roland Hagen and I are the owners of Belmar Homes. We are developer builders. I appreciate the city's bond program. The bond, the bond program exists to encourage development and it allows the developer to build and conserve capital. With this program, the Topeka residential developers have been able to invest in this community, but now this very program has a leverage on the city. John and I own over 500 platted lots in the city and county, and we have a huge interest in lot valuations. We are here to address the Lawrence Bay Subdivision Phase 1 Special Assessment delinquencies. For 10 years, I met multiple city managers to defend the city bond program and lot valuations. There doesn't need to be any discounting on this infrastructure. John and I have met with the majority owner on four different occasions, and for 10 years, the response was, I'll get back to you. We couldn't get that second meeting. We believe we could market all of phase one and pay back the city's assessments in full and more. I'm totally invested in keeping Lawrence Bay phase one lots at fair values. I'm not interested in owning one Lawrence Bay phase one lots. We own phase two and phase three. Topeka Builders needed these lots five years ago. One of the... This phase is prime ground and in the pathway of Topeka's growth. This phase has a lot of potential. Traffic way to get to great schools, restaurants, retail, and close to I-70 highway. Yet it has never had a marketing plan. The project is already discounted to 2008 prices that are forever gone, and to build this phase again would be double the cost. There are 125 lots with a mailing address of 3024 Southwest Wanamaker Suite 300. Midwest Health occupies this suite. Jim Fossman is a business owner. 80 of the 125 lots cost him $1. The discounted lot cost with 2008 infrastructure prices, his financial advantage was unbelievable. There are four LLCs with a Watermaker mailing address that have delinquent taxes over $6.6 .6 million. Early on, I encouraged the city to enforce the resolution that states the delinquent taxes are special as no city services to turn off the water to the successful businesses, but delinquent taxes and specials would have been paid. The lawyers determined the LLC had no liability on his successful businesses. I believe creating an LLC with negative liability in mind has no intentions to work in good faith. No one forced the investor to take 125 lots. With ownership, there are liabilities. The events that follow. You still have a minute, sir. Go ahead. Uh, the events that followed cost the city $7 million in unpaid infrastructure, but even more west side development in the city was hurt. Belmar Homes alone built $75 million in assets outside of the city limits. These assets continue to work for the county. The housing market soared. Lawrence Bay, Phase 1 and 2 and 3 would have been built out. Last June, there was a sheriff's sale on 22 lots. Judgment was rendered and the city lost $1,088,000. We built 59 homes in phase two, but not knowing what phase lot, one lot values would be, we moved our buildings to the county. One of the LLCs addressed 3024 Southwest Wanamaker Suite 300 is Clayton Properties LLC. It includes the 16 lake lots that have no delinquency and a possible value of $1.6 million. But Clayton Properties also have seven lots with taxes and special assessments due $1.2 million. Clayton Properties will have a chance to balance the assets and liabilities and create a positive for the people. Sir, would you like to more, have more time at the city? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have much more, maybe two minutes. Okay. Uh, motion to approve two more minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Proceed, sir. Okay, the specials on 109 lots is $30,000 a month. That is a real commitment and probably creates second thoughts and the need for a discount. The discount is not about the value of the lots. The city was forced to cover the bonds, and like it or not, the city might as well accept the deeds. This project will be slow and hurt at first. There are some hurdles. If the city gives me a, a can-do committee, this project will move forward. Foreclosure process by the city would be a cost that is not necessary. The property needs to be turned over to the city with no cost agreement. The subdivision created a possible felony. There was. Home resolution 8726 violation. 
The benefit district will not be approved if any signatory to a petition has a financial interest in any existing development with affiliate tax obligations and will be required to certify under oath that they have no financial interest in any property with the delinquent special assessments. Wheatfield Village should not have been approved. There needs to be a follow-up with a petition signature on Wheatfield Village. We must now compete with 22 lots. Man, Jimbo! of $276 and paid up infrastructure. Unless there is action by August, the county plans on foreclosures for another group of lots of $1.5 million lost to the city and would eventually foreclose the entire project costing the city $14 million. The sitting housing development on the west side will still become stagnant. Phase 1 restrictions are 1,250 square feet and $276 lot. The values of this subdivision will drop. Phase 2 restrictions are 1,250 square feet and $276 lot. The values of this subdivision will drop. To attempt to discount the loss any further will be met with an aggressive battle. Developers, builders, and constituents should believe delinquent property taxes and special of $6.6 million is a Topeka problem. There are some possibilities we have to offer. Delmar Homes subdivision... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Okay, I understand, sir. Unless there's an objection, I would extend your time for another two minutes. No, I got two minutes. Any objection from the council? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you. Delmar Homes subdivisions are exclusive sales only. Our name guarantees value to our home buyers. We have no problem selling neighborhoods. We will bring value to this abandoned subdivision with a group effort of Topeka builders. This subdivision will not be exclusive. It will have an organized marketing plan. Yanni was the original developer and the owner of Lawrence Bay Villas. Jack McGivern was burned. Now Jack owned 40 lots with $5,600 a month specials. He eventually hired Delmar Homes who built the homes and they're now valued at $230,000 each. The city now has a $9 million subdivision. There's no discounting or a holdout. City specials are paid in full. I believe we can create a plan to reimburse all the city infrastructure and possible $4 million gain on the land to be deposited in a newly formed land bank for the good of the community. Good job! Man! Doltmeyer, you did a good job! During the public discussion, we don't have a question and answer back up here. If you've completed your statement, I think. I would like someone to get back to me and city council so it just doesn't get dropped again for an amount of time. So if somebody could get back to me, I'd appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you.